Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back. Day two in the new shed. Actually, I have to stop calling it a shed. Apparently, I've been told this is not a shed. This is a warehouse. <laughs> Every time I call it a shed, I get into trouble. So, <laughs> welcome to the warehouse, guys. Day two. I've come in here slept in this morning took it really easy it's about it's probably lunchtime just after lunchtime and i'm probably only going to stay for about four hours today and then tomorrow i'll probably come back i'll be a bit more refreshed and i'll do a um a big day <laughs> so i guess i'm just been trying to sit here and think what is the next step because i do need to go and buy a few more shelves but i think today like i just may as well start trying to unpack some of these um th th some of these books i want to make sure they're at the right level going up i don't want to set all the books up and then be moving shelves if that makes sense <laughs> i want to like shed it set it up once and then i'm done i don't want to be like setting it up and then going oh no let's add another shelf in here and change it all around it'll, it'll, it's just going to be a nightmare so i may as well start on the shelves on the back wall because they can't change do they so let me just maybe unpack i might try and start unpacking these ones on that wall and while I'm doing that, I'm going to put some music on and I'm going to think about it. <laughs> it's, it's big decisions, guys. Big decisions. This honestly feels so good. I was thinking about it last night because I did say it a few times yesterday while I was, while they were bringing the stuff in here. I was like, I feel like a real business. And I know that I have been a real business. I'm, I've had a real business working from home, but uh, there's a different feeling when you move into a warehouse space and I can't explain it. And probably until you've been in that position and you've upgraded to a warehouse, it, it's just a different feeling. Like it's a really different feeling and it feels good. I feel like proud of myself or something. I don't know. I feel like I've, I've done this. I've created this business that's now big enough to come into a, to a space away from the house. And yeah, I don't know. I feel kind of proud of myself. <laughs> Anyway, let's get packing, unpacking, unpacking. It's amazing how quickly it just goes back to normal. <laughs> I'm starting to write a little to-do list here. I've, I need to buy another power board on Monday, need to sort my computer. And also I've just um, noticed I'm going to buy a little bucket. I want to show you for this tap down here. Let me turn this around. Okay, now randomly there is a tap in this warehouse and possibly all warehouses have taps. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to put books underneath it. I, you know, I don't think it's going to drip, but I think what I'll do is I'll just buy like a, a bucket thing that can go around there or some kind of container that's about the same height. So if it does happen to like get a few drips, it just goes into the bucket. And yeah, I'm not expecting, the boys didn't say that there was the tap leaked or anything. So um, it doesn't feel wet or damp. So at the moment, I'll just keep the books to the side of that until I sort that out. If I extend this up by a couple, which I think I probably should, I think I should try and get as many in here as quickly as I can. Probably with my OCD, <laughs> this, I would like this to be at the same level as this and then have two more shelves. So before I definitely unpack, there's not many boxes on these shelves here. What is there? Like four or five. So I'll take those off on the ground and I'll pull all these up a little bit. Um, and then I'll probably take two from this end. I'll extend it up and I'll keep working my way through the boxes as much as I can. However, just looking at this, clearly this pallet is in the way. So maybe instead of extending this up um, straight away, I just take note of what those shelf numbers will be, leave those boxes aside and just keep going with the rest of them. I think I'll have to do that. So many logistics. <laughs> It's, it's, it's tricky trying to work out the best way to use a space because the worst thing you can do is get a space and not utilize it properly. Like I already feel like with the ceiling height here, these shelves don't really utilize the height. These are not great shelves to have in a website, uh, website, <laughs> in a warehouse. But my plan is to extend these shelves up somehow. So that's my plan. I know you you can like extend like I could add I could buy some extra of these shelves and take like another half and take it up, but I don't know if I'll do that until I actually need 
that bit of extra space. Like at the moment, I think it's fine. I can just keep going with what I've got. Like clearly I've got all this space down here that I'm going to be able to add shelves because this, this is all the shelves I had in my other shed, except for those low ones near the packing benches. So I've got all that extra room there to be able to add some more aisles of shelves. So I've got plenty of room for growth at the moment. So rather than focusing on going up just yet, <laughs> I'm just going to stick to like growing what I've got here and then I can think about going up. Okay, so I've been going, I don't know, an hour and a half or something and I've unpacked quite a lot. I'm feeling pretty good. A big pile of boxes here that I've already done. Tom from the other warehouse has just got back in from whatever he's been doing and he's offered to drive me up to Bunnings to go and pick up the other half. Of, I, I want to get about six more shelves just to start. I, I'm going to need a lot more than that, but I just need about six to, to finish off the listed books here. And if he will drive me up there and he will lift them, <laughs> which is good for me because I've got all these stitches in my legs and the, the shelves are quite heavy, so I'd rather not do the lifting of those. And also putting them in his ute is better than putting them in my nice brand new spanking cars. <laughs> Let me show you where I'm up to. Oh, it's looking like a bookshop again, guys. Okay, so I've just been doing this aisle because, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this up to here. Um, so I've got to shuffle all these ones along a little bit. And then I'll add another two shelves to each of these so that'll give me another four shelves and that'll go up to there but then this area when I do another row of shelves um it won't go as far back because over there which you can't really see because it's a little bit hidden that's where my photography station is going to be so I want to have room to move so you can see I've been throwing all the boxes here I have started to like um what's it called like <laughs> compress a whole heap of them fold them down but I've still got a whole lot here but let me show you look at this look at all these books so that's what I've done I will say what is really annoying me and this will have to change but it's not going to change now is I've got bundles here and I've also got like individual books and I don't like that. I don't like the shelves mixed with bundles and individuals. I think what I'd actually like to do is have like this side all individuals and then over on that side where I don't have enough shelves for yet, I think as I build those shelves over there, I might actually start to move the bundles so they're all on like one side of the room because I'd rather have like a couple of aisles that are just all bundles and then aisles that are all single but that's not going to happen right now <laughs> right now I just need to get them on their correct shelf number that they were on in the other shed so that it all matches and when I need to pick all the orders that I've got waiting there I've got a heap of orders maybe 80 odd or something that need to be picked um yeah, I just need to be able to find them quickly. So I'm trying to slice these a bit nicer than just ruining them. So I might be able to use these boxes when I next move house in a couple of months. Ah, the joys of moving. I think these boxes cost me nearly $500 just to buy all the cardboard boxes. Guys, it's Sunday. <laughs> I've missed a big chunk. I think I left off yesterday. I was about to go to Bunnings and get some more shelves, but we went to Bunnings and guess what? Typical, they had no stock of any of the shelves. So they do have some closer to where I live. It just means that I'm going to have to get them on my own, put them in my car and bring them back. So it's a little bit of a bummer, but guys, I have been working hard in here this morning. I'm probably better to turn this camera around. Hold on. So I've still got this palette here that I'm about to start working on. These are my piles of empties. I have cleared these two palettes, which is exciting. Now I've got these bookcases here. This is going to be for unlisted inventory. I'm about to get up here and just give these shelves a clean. They're really dusty, but before Tom comes and picks up these um, palettes are actually a really good height for me to get up there and give those a clean so I'm going to do that next because when he comes he'll just want to get them going okay so what I've got to do is I've got to buy four more shelves to come out here and then this is going to be even with this end shelf so what I've been doing is all the books that are going on those four particular shelves I've been putting them there so I know exactly where they are this palette here, I've been creating 
everything on that is unlisted. So those unlisted books will go over here on these shelves, plus over in Tom's warehouse, well, one of his warehouses, he's got this one here. He's got um, three quarters of that. Uh, but I've got a lot of stock over in that big warehouse. So, um, what else? But yeah, look, oh, down here, I've been stacking some boxes as well. These are like X, W, and Y, because I need to buy a few more shelves to come out here as well for these listed books. And oh my goodness, these ones in the plain boxes, these are all the Mills and Boone from that big haul that I bought with 10,000 Mills and Boone. So these will be able to stay here for a little while while I start working around them. I've got some empty pallets to pick up there and the unlisted. And yeah, let's have a look here. As I've been busy unpacking, I've got one shelf that's a bit of, bit of a dilemma. This shelf here, K2. So these books are supposed to be on K2 as well, and this is full. So I think I must have got a shelf mixed up. So I'm suspecting that some of these are actually K2, and maybe some of them are K3, because this is, a, unless K3 is still over in that stack, I'm kind of feeling like I've done something wrong and I've mislabeled uh, a box. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to totally do an inventory stock take on this particular shelf. So, so far, but that seems to be the only mistake that I've made. And yeah, that's, that's it. Look at this. Can go up even a little bit higher now that the ceiling's higher. And I bought my trolley in today. It's been really handy. And look at this, guys. You'll be so happy. I can actually scoop the trolley around in my aisles. Oh, there's a box down on the ground, but you get the idea. I'm going to be able to pick my orders now with the trolley. And then bring them up here to the packing bench. How cool is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I reckon picking is going to be so much quicker because I'm going to have that little trolley and I can just scoot around the aisles. <laughs> this is this is going to be so fun. <laughs> so fun. Okay, right now I really want to get those um, dusted. Just those really high ones there. Just while I've got this bit of extra height here. So I'm going to keep excess boxes of mailers up here. Because I can pack them really high and they're light. So even if I was one was to drop on my head. <laughs> which <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. But I feel like I could almost pull from the bottom and let them go and come down. And if one was to fall on my head, they're only very light. <laughs> it's not going to be the end all, be all and end all if one of them falls from up here. Because you, know, like, you, know, you can see they're very, very light. Anyway. This bookcase is really ugly. But Tom just bought 100 of these, 110 or something of these bookcases. And most of them came individually, but he had this big three one. And he was like, do you want it? And I was thinking, well, it would probably be good for my death pile. I don't have enough shelving for my death pile. Save me some money. It's a warehouse, guys. It doesn't have to be pretty, does it? It's going to be absolutely jam-packed with, with working inventory. Oh. Tom, I went and borrowed this from Tom, but he doesn't have a spray bottle. <laughs> Just gotta. <laughs> I mean, who who buys a thing with no spray bottle? <laughs> Not me. Okay. Um. I wish I knew what was in these boxes of unlisted, but I don't. It's just unlisted.
Seriously, look at my hair. I haven't been able to wash my hair all weekend. I can't believe because I did this bloody leg injury. I can't believe the one weekend where more than anything, I want to have a shower and a long bath <laughs> and wash my hair because I'm sweating and stink. And I can't, I can't. Anyway, this little cart is fantastic for pushing these boxes around. It's had a really good height to work off as well. I'm not bending down to the ground and hurting my back as much. So having this little trolley in here, I think it's gonna prove really, really useful. This is the trolley that I always take to the book fairs. But um, yeah, I think it's gonna, I might have to buy a second one. So I've got one in my car and then I've got one like here in the shed. And I just called it a shed again. <laughs> it's not a shed mill, it's a warehouse. You've upgraded from the shed now. It's a warehouse. A warehouse is an upgrade from a shed, isn't it? Warehouse. I probably should deal with that box that's on the ground so I can keep going through. Now this one says K2. Oh my goodness, K2 is so full. Oh, I've really stuffed up this K shelf. Now I've got another box that has more Ks. <laughs> I just, I can't see any boxes that say J, but H-I, maybe I didn't have a J. H I A B C D H I Where's J? Maybe I didn't even have H I Oh I didn't even have a J K I didn't even have a J shelf. <laughs> okay, all right now I'm it's making sense, but I don't know like this is clearly I've stuffed up the K shelf but I'm starting to I'm I'm hungry. I need lunch. <laughs> I'm hoping that the boys stop soon and come in and go, lunch break, let's go. I tell you what, but I never want to move again. <laughs> I never want to move. <laughs> I hope I don't get thrown out of this place because <laughs> I don't want to move ever again, ever, ever. M, what is this? One, two. I tell you what, the four shelves that are going here, N, O, P, Q. These are all N, O, P, Q. And I can see quite a few more on that bundle there. So those four shelves have got a lot of boxes for them. So yeah, the other ones down there, W, X, Y, that I have that I have many. But these four, like these four shelves really need urgent attention. So tomorrow I'll hundred percent I'll have to get at least four shelves to get these ones going. A minimum four shelves into my car tomorrow. Oh, look at this. I can put this on here. <laughs> I feel like I've got all this space. I'm like, this is amazing. So much better to film in. I can show you so many more angles. I think you're going to be able to see so much more of what I'm actually doing. Be able to make better picking videos so you can actually watch me pick because <laughs> in the other shed it was an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait to be making more content 
inside here. I'm super soup. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I'll wait for Tom to take those away and these away. I might even get him to just move that a little bit closer there. It'll free up some more space there when I need it. I think now I'm going to start putting this into my car. Guys, we have a problem. I've just found my first spider and I think it's a red back. So let's see if I can zoom. Oh, I can't see the red stripe, but if I'm correct, only the female has the red stripe. But I might need to check that. So going on my shopping list <laughs> is some surface spray, some spider spray. Um, and that way I'll just do a big surface spray along here and hope that I don't find too many spiders. Because <laughs> I don't like spiders. Especially black ones like that. The black ones are normally the dangerous ones. So yeah, I need to transport that spider to a new home. Okay, Tom's just taken the pellets out of here. I've got a little bit of space now. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna sign off today. I'm absolutely filthy <laughs> and I'm about to go to lunch. <laughs> so I look like a real scrapper. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the new shed. Oh, warehouse, warehouse. I can't wait to share more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.